It's Sister Elizabeth. I haven't had a chance to speak to you since before the new year, but be assured that my sisters and I have been praying for all of you, all the servants of Mary ministers to the sick. Please continue to keep us in your prayers. Today, I wanted to speak to you about something that I'm concerned about. As Christians, we are not only to believe in the gospel, but to live it with our lives. As a disciple of Christ, we are called to love God and neighbor. And there are many ways that we can live this call. One way is through our actions on social media, by building up others by what we share or the comments we make. Like it says in scripture, in the letter to the Ephesians, uh, chapter 4, verse 29, let me read it to you. It says, Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up, as there is need so that your words may give grace to those who hear. Let me read that to you one more time. And this is from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Let no evil talk come out of your mouths, but only what is useful for building up as there is need, so that your words may give grace to those who hear. I need to be sincere with you. There is so much going on in our world. We've had the scandals in the church, the pandemic, racial tensions, politics. I can go on. But we are all aware of the craziness. And because of the craziness, there is so much negativity. As a consecrated religious, I have given my life to God, his church, and his people. And I have to tell you that it breaks my heart when I read ugliness coming from a priest, a deacon, consecrated religious, or a fellow Christian. We need to pray before we post. We need to respond as Jesus' disciples, not react by our emotions. When we react by our emotions, we are causing more pain and division in the church. And if you believe that God wants you to speak to someone you're disagreeing with, pray, and then do it through private message. In all of our social media interactions, may God give us the grace to speak truth, to love, truth and love, to set aside all bitterness, wrath, anger, slander, that we may be kind to one another, tender-hearted and willing to forgive, just as God in Christ has forgiven us. Believe me, sometimes I, I want to say some things after reading a post or a comment. But that's why we need to pray for each other. We have to stop and ask ourselves, what would Jesus do? So let's pray for each other. May the Holy Spirit guide us in everything we say and do. And may our examples in everything in our lives, may our examples lead souls to Christ. Just know that we're in this together. So God bless you. And remember, what would Jesus do?